Hi, in this video we'll use Intel Stratix 10 GX development kit and Exhaustive to visualize the PCI Express payload from inside the FPGA. Intel's Avalon ST PCI Express hard IP is used with a reference design. We have added Exhaustive IP to probe the traffic on the Avalon ST system bus. The data that is collected is sent outside by means of four transceivers that provide a total bandwidth of more than 40 gigabit per second. Here is the setup. The Stratix 10 GX board is plugged into the PC motherboard. We use this QSFP Plus cable to connect the Stratix 10 FPGA to the exhaustive probe. The exhaustive probe provides the connectivity and the storage for the captured trace. And we have exhaustive dashboard application running. It is used to control exhaustive's IP and probe and to visualize the traces. Here you can see Intel's PCI Express test application running on the PC that hosts the straight extend board. It is used to generate some PCI Express traffic. From Exhaustive Dashboard, we first load the project settings for the Stratix 10 board. We can find the FPGA and connectivity options on the first screen and the Exhaustive IP core settings on the second screen. We have connected Exhaustive IP to the FPGA internal Avalon ST bus, that is, at the interface with the Intel PCI Express IP. We run a simple capture of 16 short bursts with a trigger on the start of packet signal. You can see the capture progress as we are sending the packets on the PC Express. The data that was captured is displayed in the waveform window. We are able to view the traffic generated from the PC Express IP onto the Avalon ST bus. We can see some control signals and the payload data that was sent onto the board PCI Express interface. With the large 8GB memory buffer of the exhaustive probe, you could get an extended view of what happens inside the Intel Stratix 10 FPGA. Exhaustive provides controls on the triggering and the number and length of the bursts that it captures. It can filter the data based on a logic condition and, if you have got the bandwidth, it can even capture continuously until its probe memory buffer is full. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.